Today's video is about how you can cop the Nike Blazer Mid ready made. Let's go. What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. Like I said, another how to cop video for you guys, a guide on how to get the Nike Blazer Mid ready made, a sick collab with Japanese company ready made. This one's dropping on the 27th, same day as the Air Jordan 4 Tote Pays, but this one is gonna go crazy. There are two different colorways. We have the white colorway coming out and then also the black colorway. Both have a full size run in men's sizing and guys, this is gonna be a shoe you're not gonna wanna sleep on. So for the video today, if you guys haven't seen a how to cop video yet, today I'm basically gonna break down the release, go through the shoe, kind of break down the actual history and materials and stuff on the shoe. Then we're gonna get into the resale guide. I'm gonna tell you guys my predictions for the future with the shoe. And then I'm also gonna break down where you guys can cop the shoe in the best ways and then give you some secrets on how I think you guys can cop the shoe. It's gonna be retailing at 160, but this shoe is gonna be going for over $500 resale easily. So you're not gonna to wanna to sleep on. Stick around to the end of the video to get those secrets too. And always hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on for notifications so you guys don't miss out when I post more videos like this. But other than that, let's get into it today. All right, so starting off on the black pair, you can see the Blazer Mid Ready Made coming out February 27th, retailing at 160. Crazy, crazy design on the Blazer. Honestly, just an insane shoe. If you guys haven't already, check out like the behind the design on the sneakers app because it goes through all the design and how it was actually made. But checking out that video, this shoe is from Japanese designer Ready Made. His name is Yuta Hosokawa and he made this shoe so different. Actually on that video, you can see him like deconstructing the whole blazer to kind of get more of like a DIY feel on the shoe so we can really like renovate the shoe and just make it totally different to kind of distort and just change the total aesthetic on the shoe while still keeping some of the OG like nods to the actual blazer. And as we actually go through the shoe, you can see the rubber panels on the toe cap um cover right there up there and then you also have a huge like black cutout material that is positioned on like the medial upper of the shoe like under the orange swoosh right there crazy crazy design i love like the distorted orange swoosh on the shoe that's one of my favorite parts for sure you also have like the underfoot and has like kind of its own unique kind of flare on it that has this like kind of bubbly white midsole you can see it's not like a straight across um, like midsole you can kind of see it's like ruffled bubbled right there love that touch on the shoe as well looks like the swoosh also sticks out a little bit as you can see the stitching doesn't fill all the way on the swoosh and then of course you have the rich like tapestry and colors on the shoe the camouflage along the upper the volt laces the ready made on the back with the different um swoosh logo right there kind of an og nod to the like the logo from the 1970s just a crazy shoe we can take a look at the white pair real quick as well. So the white pair looks amazing too. I think I do prefer the black pair, but the white one goes just as hard. Definitely gonna resell for just as much. Like I said, um, just the big like midfoot swoosh is really just that nice OG design, which I love. I love how it's black on this one. But yeah, like the, I don't see anything really wrong with the shoe. I think it's crazy. And of course, if you guys saw Travis Scott wore the shoe, and that already blew the shoe up before it even came out. No one even seen anything yet. And Travis comes out, he was wearing the black pair, which also could be why it's going for a little bit more right now. But this shoe just goes absolutely crazy. And I'm excited to see this shoe in hand. Definitely trying to hit this shoe, get a personal in both colorways, but it's gonna be pretty limited. So let's real quick, before I show you guys where you can cop it, let's get into the resale guide for these. All right, first up, we have the black pair. It did finally dip under 480, but it's been above 500 for a while now. So it's looking about five to 540 is most of the size range. And I mean, honestly, with this release, I don't think it's gonna dip too much. I could see this black pair going under 500, but I don't think under like 450. So it's gonna be very, very limited. And I think most sizes are gonna do very well on the shoe. Like the black pair, oh, both of them already have a lot of sales, but this black pair definitely has a ton of sales already. Like I said, the Travis Scott effect is definitely real on this shoe. As we check out the white pair, um, you can see sizes, people go crazy with a 1260, that's insane. But 
they're pretty similar. Um, they're actually going for a little bit more, but you can see a size seven, 460, 483. So about 480 to 520. So they're pretty similar. I do think the black pair will end up going for more, but like I said, this is gonna be a shoe you're not gonna wanna sleep on. Definitely have everyone enter, get everyone in for a drawing on this because there's not a lot of sites dropping this shoe, especially because um, it's more of like a Japanese based company. So this one is definitely going to be one that is going to be tough to get, but I'm going to show you guys how you can cop it. All right. So really there's just going to be two main ways that you can cop this shoe, especially here, um, United States. Number one, there's a ton of raffles for the tire zero, like Nike authorized retailers. And that's really going to be your best chance outside of sneakers to hit this shoe. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Soul Retriever in the past, they always link it up for all the raffles. So definitely go check that out. It's free to use, just shows you all the raffles. You can make an account, saves your progress and everything. So I definitely love using that one when there's a lot. But as far as the raffles go, there's like DTLR, there's Good Hood, Foot Shop, a bunch of different like European ones. So a lot of them only will ship within um, the like European Union over there. But Hopefully there's a couple that will still ship here. I think there's End and Naked. Both of those should ship worldwide. So definitely just check out the raffles because I mean, there's not very many chances. I also just saw the Union LA store put a raffle on their site. It's going all day today. So go enter that one for sure. You can get a couple entries in. They had the black and the white pair. So go hit that one up. I'll actually link that one so you guys don't have trouble finding it. Definitely enter that one. Next up, your guys favorite, my favorite. Nike sneakers. This one's gonna be tough because most people on a on a limited drop, about eight to ten percent of people who enter will hit. Um, bigger drops like let's say like a Jordan One comes out that's more of like a GR. It's about 20, 25 percent people hit. So this one is sadly gonna be probably about three to five percent. Most major limited releases like this don't have very much stock allocated like everywhere, and so Nike sneakers will have the majority, but. Not so many people were hit. One thing that is gonna help substantially is that there are actually three shoes coming out on February 27th. We have that black blazer, we have the white blazer ready-made, then we also have the Jordan 4 Topaz. If you guys didn't check out the Topaz How to Cop Guide, go check out that video. That one will be linked as well. There's a card up there for you too, but definitely check that one out. That one's got some major key tips for that shoe. But like I said, three shoes coming out on that day is gonna help so much. And my biggest advice, biggest secret with multiple shoes dropping on the same day is enter every single shoe. I know most of the time you don't want to if it's like a brick or dumb, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get that shoe. But you'll definitely want to enter the Jordan 4 because that's gonna have a nice resale and it's a beautiful shoe anyways. And then do both of the blazers because my experience with multiple shoes on a release date is if you enter those three shoes right there, you're bound to get one of them. It just kind of enhances the chance you'll be able to hit on the shoe. I saw it just barely again with the dunk lows. There was grade school sizes, men's sizes, the women's coast dunk. And so your phone gets, let's say five entries to cop different shoes, but that's five instead of just going for one. So it just kind of helps the chances. And also what I've seen is they kind of recognize you going for more shoes and you hit one of them. That's every time I've had multiple shoes on a release day, I'll usually hit because it's just gets lucky like that. But that's my biggest advice there. And I think you guys can be able to hit if you do that. It is going to be pretty tough. Again, don't be too discouraged on this drop. I think the Jordan 4 will definitely have more stock than this, but it's a sick, sick shoe. I'm so excited. Hope I can throw it up on the wall have another like unboxing video with the shoe because I definitely love that shoe. But for the video today at Tamsers Kicks, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for all the support. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and leave a big like. It definitely helps the video, pushes it out to more people. Comment down below which blazer you like better if you're going for them. Guys, it was good to have you here today. We'll see you next time.